All right, today is day seven. Uh, got my office semi set up. I had my first Zoom meeting in here, which worked out okay. Uh, I gotta do some wiring to this, so maybe I'll do that today. Um, put tinker around with the garage, start working on TVs and all that stuff. Uh, but today is, uh, I can't go to the gym today, so I'll take the day off. And uh, But I gotta go to the garage. You know, the wash and talk I've been talking about doing or the, the exit interview on the RS. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going over the garage to do that. Uh, then we're gonna get the M3s completed. I need to put the seats in, put the plate on, swap the wheels. We'll do that real quick. I'll probably have Mike help me do that real fast or you know, take a couple hours to do it. And then I'll be back over here at the house and start playing with stuff. But you can see the office is starting to come together. Working on figuring out the layout. I've got the yellow text system set up, which I'll share more with. Probably make a desk tour video, kind of nifty. I think I'm gonna leave this this thing in the center here. It just helps add some stability to the whole the whole system. But what I should do is I should go to. We'll see how it works out. With uh, I'd like to do a camera on here, so we'll see how this this all works out. And I'm gonna get my OID set up. Waiting on my steel case chair, and I'll set this up. Well, first, gonna go there. I'm going to do a TV uh, 55 LG Evo in here on the wall and uh, probably do my M33 and Dynaudio setup there. So it just it seems like an endless amount of cardboard. I bought the Sony, so I paid a thousand bucks more for the 83 Sony to play with this in comparison to the LG. We'll see. Um, Sony has a little bit better anti-glare, which will help with the uh, this substantial light that I have here. I can't really do much about. I guess we can get some window treatments here. But I'm going to start playing with this tonight as well. Hopefully this afternoon if I can go get my work done at the garage. But the uh, house is coming together. Uh, I did order the mantle mount. I, It dawned on me that since we're going to be framing this in, uh, the thing I don't like about the mantle mount is I don't like mounts that aren't flush. Uh, and so what I'll do is, you know, this TV's coming down. My 77 OLE is going there. We'll put that on the mantle mount. Uh, so I did the Pro 700, and I'm going to put the sound bar on that, and then that solves the problem for if they are watching stuff in here, they have decent sound. I ordered the Sennheiser Ambio. See how that works without a subwoofer, and we'll dial this all in and just leave the mantle alone and just keep it simple. And I'll, we'll make a video on that. Uh, not much going on in the kitchen here. Uh, I ordered some filters for the fridge. I think I'm just going to stick with this fridge for now. I don't know that I'm going to swap this thing out either, this Kohler faucet. The one thing I do need to do is I do need to get the... Uh, uh, the water pressure figured out and I need to fix the incinerator. Oh, and I do need to order this because this this one, we negotiated this. We knew this wasn't wasn't working when we got it. So I'm gonna get the, uh, figure out what Bosch or Cove or Asco or Miele dishwasher I'm gonna do and spend some time working on that. But yeah, house is coming together. I ordered my closets yesterday. So every single closet in the whole house has been ordered. Cost a lot of money. I'll show you how to do uh, how I did all that. Anyway, we're gonna grab some shoes and sweatshirt. Let's get out of here. But if you look at everything and see the pricing differences, yeah, go ahead. We got pre lighting. Yeah. We got cabinets in Chris's office. You know, yep. You keep all this barbecue sauces and Chick fil A junk in here. And uh, I'm, I'm never gonna open these cabinets. I don't wanna know the atrocities that go down here. So what we did, because these are metal studs, Mike made a 2x6, 2x8, 2x6, 2x8 toe kick, painted it black. And uh, Chris is going to put all kinds of tchotchkes in here. It's going to be a tchotchke nightmare. <laughs> got all kinds of stuff to hang on the walls. And we got, uh, we got uh, Vibe and we got Picos. So we're looking good. This is full blast on the lights too. I'm not going to have it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll be your, your eyesight will be it's perfect two two eight foot linear fixtures 4k beautiful 
That's the main reason why I'm having you help me. <laughs> so I got the crack team. I got the crack team here. I can't get anything done in my own life, so I have to have all these people help me. Give them a little break from the monotony. Doing a quick, quick interior clean out of this. Mike's gonna start swapping the uh, seats on these, and then I'm running up to curate. I need to shoot a video for. I want to shoot a video for inside the hex, and shoot a video for reserve your spot. We got these wheels back on, so now this is ready for BMW invasion. We're gonna swap the seats, and. If we have time, we'll probably swap a steering wheel too in the other one. Oh. This takes two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll knock that out. Here's the new straps, which oh, are probably okay. still not going to be exactly what we need, but this was the $800 straps. So this might be longer. Remember, they were too short. Yeah. Right to length. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to run up there and do that. Well, since, I, since I started here. All right, we're running up camera. We got the cameras and stuff in Chris's new truck here, and we're running up to Curated to shoot a video for Inside the Hex RYS. And uh, when I get back, um, hopefully the seats will be out and swapped, and then I can check these things off of my chaos list. And then tomorrow we can spend time putting our plan together with all the stuff that we need for uh, for taking the trip down to down to Orlando, which will be going on Friday. Uh, but I'm hoping to get back to the house today, finish or at least start wiring up my office, and I'm hoping to. So we got to go north. Yeah, you've never been there, have you? Yeah, well, I haven't been there in four yeah, months either. So go. yeah, so you got to go out here and make a U-turn. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're. Um, making some serious progress here today. I'm hoping to get back to the house and start working on stuff. Michelle has uh, Stanley Steamer coming because we must be she must be allergic to the previous owner's dog. Uh, same thing with me. Like uh, I was I was messing around with the carpet yesterday in the uh, that that was left from the in the whatever the office. My eyes were killing me. And then the couch, the white couch that we bought from them. So we're just having Stanley Steamer come and deodorize and do whatever they do to hopefully they don't ruin it uh, and get that cleaned up. But oh, and Michelle is working on. She's gonna get the rest of the cardboard and the trash out of there, uh, and then I'll go back and uh, start working on some more stuff. So come up. I haven't been up here in months. It's gonna look completely different. So let me give me a tour of what we got here. So there's City Electric, and then my building is the red one here. Kind of keep it incognito. And my dad's got this place dialed in. Him and Justin. All right, Shelly. I got. Uh, oh, by the way, I got an update on you. Um, Mike's gonna. We're gonna fix all the our, our disheveled, destroyed old house. So Mike has to fix all those things. Yeah, we shouldn't have to, but we're going to. We're, what's, it's not worth the fight, you know. This is the story of our life. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what did what did you do today? What's going on? Tell me the story. So, okay. All of the upholstery. So all of the rugs and furniture, like with, you know, upholstery was clean today. So cleaned and deodorized and all that stuff. So it should not smell like anybody else's dog or anything. Okay. It's all set out. So when you get home, don't like sit on anything. You can tell. I mean, all the cushions have to stay this way to dry. Okay. What about, um, did you have them, did you get the, the stuff from storage, that piece back in time to do yes. that? So the, okay. So first the, it was like three different people were here at once. It was crazy. Maybe four different people, but all the storage came back. Okay. So I had to put it places. So like the one thing that you hate is in the kitchen. So please don't come home with the camera and video it and say how much you hate it. Like I understand it's going to have to go. Okay. But I had to put it somewhere and they want to leave it in your garage. I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's not going to happen. So it's just put here for now. Okay. So everything's back from storage, which is great. The next thing is um, the pavers that you hate are gone. Okay, good. So the guy's loading them right now. I'm about to go out and make sure he took it. The deal was you had to take every last one. You couldn't take part of it. This is a different guy? Yeah, this is a different guy. These are the trash pavers that were, like, out there since the house yeah, was and built. Justin was like, hey, why don't, why don't you just make a fire pit with them? I'm like, oh, man, I should have. We don't need a fire <laughs> oh, well, pit. I knew you'd say that. Um, so we got a fireplace. What do we need a fire pit for? Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, my gosh. Then the locksmith came, changed all the locks. Um, fixed the front door that was a little bit janky and like programmed the one lock that goes into the garage. So okay. that's exciting. Um, I think that was it. Was that everything? Yep. Yep. Chase um, broke out and went swimming in the neighbor's pool. So he had a great day. 
Uh, oh boy. Yeah, I loosened his collar because I feel sad that that thing was like poking him. Yeah. And I don't even think it touched him, and he just like walked right in. And then the neighbor sent me a text, Michelle, is this your dog? And he was like in their pool, happy as could be. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of exciting things. But yeah, so that's, um, we had, got a lot accomplished, so that's good today. Cool. All right, I gotta go. Okay, see ya. That's it. All right, Mike, do you think we can handle all these things here? Yes, here's all our, here's all our things we gotta fix. So we gotta fix the gutter, gutters. Yep. We got two hairline fractures. Oh, house is falling apart. We gotta fix that, apparently. I mean, no one else has ever fixed that in the history of ever, and you know, those are like two that settling cracks, okay? So we gotta fix that. Uh, the rear screen door doesn't latch on its own. Mm -hmm. you think you can handle that? I think so. I don't know about this thing here. I might just tell them that I don't know if I can do that. We don't think we can get that done in time. I'll give them a, an eight dollar credit for that piece of screen. Yeah, just round it to ten, make them happy. Then we got to fix this little this crater in the side of the house. Oh boy! And then, uh oh, the GFCI is tripping in the garage. I don't know what that means because the outlets work fine for me. Um, it's the base. <laughs> the guest room sink has too much pressure being sprayed out. Mm -hmm. We'll replace that. Uh, we know what's really wrong with that, but um, um, we'll, we'll fix that. This door needs a little adjusting. Yep, do that. Did my, uh, dra did my drawers or doors need any adjusting in the new house? Every single one of them. No, no. We got a house perfect, yeah, right? It's perfect. Everybody's yeah. house that you could buy is perfect. That's normal. Yeah. The door's not shutting properly is normal. Yeah, that lazy Susan falling off when you oh, open yeah. the door? And it's, it's just... It, it, come on. Oh, Extra oh. screws were... You would have had to But pay this, that. my house, is not, not good enough. No, right? no. Right, that's right, right. that's okay. terrible. Uh-oh, we got I this. We got a little little crevice in the um, in the grout. We got to fix that. Yeah. I think we can handle that. Yeah. A light bulb is out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many light bulbs are out in the house that I bought? <laughs> Oh, like sixty percent of them. Fifty percent at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh! This, and this, yeah, I mean, you know. So you I got apparently out of buy light bulbs. Um, got it. The this, escutcheon is loose there. Okay. okay. It matter. That really matters. It doesn't matter that this is a one thousand dollar Newport brass. Yeah, no, you know, perfection. Doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't give me any credit for that. No. There's and debris, there's debris in, this. in the garbage disposal. I'll have like, to turn it on. Clear that up. Okay, that'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> this I knew. I didn't. I never put na liquid nails in this. That'll take us about 12 and a half seconds to fix that. And then Ryan's door, it looks like it's off its track. I think, you know, maybe we knocked it off or something maybe like the that. Or something. Yeah, so there's a little scrape on the door. Okay, so we'll adjust that. And then, uh oh, look at this. This is like in like the back corner crevice yeah, of the, uh, the, of of the, the attic. Garage, yeah. That, that, so, now that came with the house. That's not something you did. <laughs> Who knows? Another light bulb out. And then an outlet cover that's a little loose. That's and I gotta have the AC guys come check the, um, the temperature split difference is less than required tolerance, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Think we can handle this? Yes. How long is it gonna take? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes? Max. It's gonna take yeah. me longer to go to Home Depot and get the caulking yeah, yeah, yeah. than it will to fix all this. I stuff. won't read what the uh, realtor said on this for Lena, just to, just to keep, you know, keep us in good graces. Yes. So, it's not worth the fight. I mean, I shouldn't have to fix any of this crap. Well, but, I mean, you leave someone a shanty. I mean, what do you <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, well, well, you know, it, it's the, the guy had, we knew the guy was going to have to find something. The good news is we don't have to do much. The good news is that's all he really found. That means yeah, he, was digging. he was digging. He was digging. Well, I fixed all something. the little things, right? Yeah. And oh, two of them I knew. Yeah. I knew I had the sink, which I knew I'd have to fix that. I, I just said, it's been on my list for a while. I just didn't do it. Yeah. The screen was like that when I bought the house. And yeah. I, it stinks. I let it go, and it comes back to bite me. Yes. And I had to live with the hole in the screen. Mm -hmm. Next next house, as is. As is, that's the way it goes. Yeah. <sighs> Nine simple things. Clean in here. It smells clean. Not clean though. What are we doing? What's up, Chasey? What's up, buddy? Uh oh. You like this thing? No, stop! I knew you were gonna show it on video. It's terrible. You don't like it? I already am getting rid of it. I just put it somewhere. Uh oh. Where'd that frame come from? You snuck that in on me. Oh, that might go in our bedroom. Just leave it alone, people. Oh. Be nice to me. All right, Kate. Let's go. Practice time. 
You think this is gonna be good? Did they clean everything up nicely? Oh no, Chase, you're, yeah, it's wet. Or, you know, kind of. Chase, you're not supposed to lay on that, baby. Oh, Chase, it's so not So stainless wet. steamer got us all steamed up? Yeah, I know. Oh, it's Ryan, get off that. You see my new uh, 83 inch? Oh, they clean this carpet too? Yeah. That's great. You got a um, package. Oh, yeah, it's mine. Well, what's my Oh, I forgot you had an order. Okay, the guy's coming back. He's on his way back to get the rest of them. What guy? The guy getting the papers. Oh, is it a different guy? No. He had a whole truckload. Oh, cool. One on the side. And he couldn't fit, like, he oh, had to come back. And I said, I'm not paying. I told him. <laughs> I learned how to get people to do something. Yeah. You offer 25 bucks. Oh shoot, we got a new filter already? That's came quick. I said, I'll pay you if you come up. All right, sorry, I took a little nap there. <laughs> so, we got the rest of our furniture. I don't know where the table's going there, but we got that. Michelle bought this other antique thingy. That thing back there. The, let me put the couch back together here. Put this couch back together. And then that big thing over there, and the bike. So these were in storage at the uh, movers. So they came and dropped that stuff off today. That's a monster. 83 inch OLED, 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 or as Michelle says, OLED. <laughs> she, she, uh, uh, don't call it OLED, that sounds stupid. You don't say LED for LED lighting. It's, it's organic LED, OLED. So, Anyway, you guys have to stop this nonsense of uh, LCD stuff. You only buy LCD, or LED they call it, which is just an LCD with an LED backlight. QLED is just Samsung's version of a LCD. Uh, the only one that's a little different is Mini LED, but even then, still not, not a great technology. OLED is the standard. Um, I've never burned in a TV in my life. You know, plasmas are much more susceptible to burning than even these were. But you want organic LED unless you're going to be putting it, like if I was putting it outside on the pool deck or in the garage, then you just do a, an LCD. You know, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on LCD, it's still far inferior. It's, it, it just doesn't look good. So I think you just listen to Uncle Maddie on this one. So we have 83 Sony A90J or whatever it's called. And then in here I'm doing my C... Does this say C8? I think 77 OLED is going here to take this god-awful 82-inch LCD. And I did decide to do mantle mount, but we're going to frame it in so that the mantle mount can flush. Because one of the problems I have with a, like this kind of bracket and the mantle mount is to get kind of wonky. You know, it's the same issue I have that I'm now regretting the decision to do on my desk in the room there. It gets wonky when you have all this fore and aft adjustability up and down, left, right. Uh, it, it makes it darn near impossible to get a flush on the wall. You'll see in a minute the Santa's brackets that I like to use uh, should be in this box right here that are totally flush, super, super tight. You know, you got this TV that's insanely thin. You know, why do you want it to stick off the wall? I want it to be as tight as possible. Oh, let me show snuck these stupid lamps in here. Anyway, I'm gonna get uh, get moving on this. I might even mount the darn thing. So this is the one. I mean, it's not the best bracket in the world, but the one I always end up using. This is a Sanus LL11 or LL11-B1. That's the one you want. And this will go from 40 inches to 85, and I actually think they've, they've adjusted it. I think we can go bigger. Yeah, these TVs don't weigh much. Uh, you just need to get it on the wall and it'll stay there. I may or may not be watching myself, talking about myself, and then videoing myself. <laughs> so, anyway, I always like to watch back the videos to see what it looks like, make sure we're I don't know, doing the right thing, and then I'm like, in it. Might as well finish it. So there is the bracket where that's going. That's installed, and then I make my line. So I'm mounting this to the base of the TV two inches above the top of the cabinet. So that means that this has to be 55 inches to the bottom of this bracket. So then I found my studs. Nice, we have wooden studs in this house, so that's good. And then the bracket 
holes don't work for where my studs are, so I made some new holes in order to be able to hit the studs. What's up, cuties? What did you, what did you got here, Shelly? This was the best. You gonna eat this whole thing in one night? It was like the biggest blessing. I opened the fridge like, what am You're I so gonna hungry. Eat? I'm so hungry after practice. So you're just gonna they, eat there it was. I was like, <gasps> So you're gonna just eat this? Mm -hmm. Where do we get this from, Katie Bell? I don't know. Miss Lena. Oh. Mmm. What is that? Hit the spot. Yeah, I'm not supposed to. All I've eaten is the chocolate ones. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Mm. Chase, you want some? You want some, buddy? He doesn't want any. Yeah, you're welcome. Here, eat your strawberries. Can you help me lift the TV in a few? No. Tell them what happened last time I lifted a TV with you. You busted your face. You and cried your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I did kind of cry. Almost cried. You got so mad. Said some bad words. She said bad words, Katie. Bell. I did? Why is it a bad word today? Uh -oh. You jolted it. It popped me in the eye. Gave me a black eye. I'm not sure why I'm going to eyes on the TV, but. I had a basketball in the eye and a baton in the eye. Yeah. I took the same eye. And the basketball had like ooze coming out of it. Oof. Yeah, but the other basketball? people's wives can't do stuff like that. I'm lifting this whole thing, stand, straddling up on the shelves, lifting a TV by myself. And then people all of a sudden get frustrated and jam it into my eye. I want to throw the TV on the floor. I was so mad. <laughs> Let's go do it again. You'll then. be like, Let's do it again. I'm lifting furniture. I'm lifting like a 300 pound thing. I'm like, and you're like, come on, Michelle. I don't say that. And I'm like, it's implied. What though. other wives can do this? And you act like I'm not strong enough. Well, tough enough. Eat some chocolate. Eat some more. It'll eat, make you happy. eat some more fruit, and that'll get you geared up and ready to go. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. So that was the existing hole for the cable. Turns out, which is great news, there was Cat Five behind there as well. So I just turned it into Cat Five using my fancy little Klein tools. And so what I'm going to do, it's kind of short, but it'll reach when I put the cabinet all the way back. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, this goes back to the garage, and so what this will afford me to do, the, the network that I set up, or just the you know, really regular uh, Wi-Fi router is, um, it's sitting over there in the, in, the, in the office. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put the cable modem and the Orbi uh, main, wireless router here and then I'll send the signal back to the garage and then I'll put another, I'll put my um, my satellite Orby in the garage and then that'll cover the whole property. Things pretty stout. So it'll cover that side of the house, this side of the house will all be covered and we'll be good to go and it'll be networks so it won't be it won't be um, whatever uh, boosting or uh, Handing off the Wi-Fi network, it'll it'll be a it won't be extending the Wi-Fi network. It'll actually be mesh meshing, if you will, the Wi-Fi network. If I'm using the right term. So now I'm gonna go get Michelle and talk her in to help me lift this thing up on the wall and hope we can get it up there. All right, people, we don't have a shower curtain in the kids' rooms, but we've got an 83-inch OLED TV. That's all that matters. <laughs> I gotta call my friend Jason Dustel. Get him out here to calibrate this thing in about a month after it gets some time on it. Uh, but I gotta level it. The um, the left side needs to come up or down or something like that. I gotta look at what I gotta do. So I got a long screwdriver so I can reach up there. There's a, a leveling adjustment on the uh, on the bracket. Now this is always controversial, but to clean the TV, to clean the display, microfiber towel. Now I normally would use a waffle weave. And invisible glass. Spritz the invisible glass all over the display. Wipe it down. Done. I do that once a once every three or four months. And you can see why we do the flush mount. See, there's no extra. It's just flat flush. Makes it harder to get on the wall, and you have to worry about the cable management behind it. Uh, but the nice thing about you know modern setups is we have one HDMI cable and one power cord, and that's it. That's all that I need. All right, it's like midnight. Get everything set up. All excited to just turn it on. See those wires from the bottom there, drive me crazy. But stupid, stupid Android TV or the Google operating system is terrible. I knew I should have bought the LG. 
um, I don't know, something isn't working. I can't, the Apple TV and the Blu-ray won't work. Got the remote program, got everything set up, all the inputs are set up, everything's perfect. But it isn't recognizing the uh, Apple TV for some reason. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, it, it could be that HDMI cable. I had the same problem with the other Sony TV and the HDMI switching on NAD with Sony and that 8K fiber optic um, monoprice cable. Anyway, I quit, I'm going to bed. Okay, so the problem is those crappy monoprice, which I thought were good monoprice HDMI cables, I had the same problem at, in the garage at my last house where I ran these these optical non-powered optical HDMI cables and so that's that's the issue I've got to get some different cables so I, I've got uh, Michelle stopping by Obsessed Garage by the OGHQ to get me uh, I'm gonna get two or I'm gonna get three Velux four meter cables should solve my problem and worst case I won't switch but the you know the NAD should have no problem passing you know 4k Dolby Vision no issue so we'll get it set up sick can't explain what it sounds like if you're just stereo with the two subs